With the introduction of AIR, there's a lot of conflict and turmoil and a lot of very contrasting opinions about how this new technology is going to influence the landscape of art. For non-artists, they're going to feel like they finally have access to this realm that they previously were not granted permission into. However, for practicing artists, they feel like they're now on the verge of extinction. They're afraid that machines are now going to take over what they love and know how to do already. Regardless of which side of the fence you're on with this, it is very important for you to ask this question, my friends. Who is going to survive the future of AIR in this new revolution of this new medium? The first victim that's definitely going to fall to AIR, and I've been warning about this for a long time, and the reckoning is finally here, y'all, but cheap artists are definitely going to go away. They're not going to be able to produce anything with any type of perceived value to it because they can just go to an AIR program and generate a character or generate a background or generate something that they need. Now, this will definitely happen as AIR programs become more available and you don't have to sit on a wait list forever to get on these things, right? Now, I definitely think that cheap artists and AI artists are going to eventually level out to the same price field because of this. When the trend in the panic of AI art and its influence is over, it's definitely going to cheapen itself. What informs this opinion heavily is that I've been seeing a lot of people who are attempting to monetize AI art, and I've even seen entire channels dedicated to how you can supposedly do this. But I just want to warn you, my friends, if you're thinking about potentially monetizing what you're producing in AI, it's not going to have a very long run. It's gonna be a very short run because people are gonna pick up on the fact that they can just do it themselves. Have you seen anybody that's been trying to do this? I would caution you on your potential to monetize AI art because I think eventually it's going to definitely come back and people are going to get sued for copyright infringement. As AI eventually grows, then it is not coveted, it's not respected, it's not revered, and it's not viewed as a specialty. So it's just going to have a really cheap and look to it. Now all of this will certainly lead to this effect. The title of being an AI artist will certainly go extinct because people will not be able to hold that title. As AI generators become widely available to everybody, it's definitely gonna lose its luster. It's not gonna be seen as any type of specialty. The after effect of this is that it's going to force these so-called AI artists to go literally back to the drawing board to pick up the skills of actual artists because they're gonna actually need to put forth effort in order to create really amazing looking images because everyone's gonna know, oh, that's just made with AI art. It's not gonna be special anymore. Can't you see that happening? Now, the last victims of AI will be these people. Have you ever seen really bad photo bashing? Because I definitely think AI art is bound to breed tons of these. Can't you see that happening? Just think of the myriad of awkward combinations that people are going to come up with when they try and blend and merge different programs. Lazy artists that think that they can just chop together a whole bunch of AI artwork and think that it looks presentable or thinks that they can sell it or they think perhaps that they can even sell that, they're definitely not going to survive this because everyone's gonna pick up on the fact that, oh yeah, that's just two AI art images that are blended together. What I can definitely say, and I can picture this in my mind, and maybe you can too, tell me down below if you can, but the amount of mediocre paint overs or paintings that people are going to do when they realize that, oh, I can create a background, but not the specific character, or, oh, I can create a character using this generator over here, but mm, I forgot that they're supposed to be wearing a Viking helmet, so they'll paint in these little tiny chintzy looking horns that are just gonna look terrible. Can't you picture that, right? Now, let's talk about who will survive AI art. The most prominent survivor, I'm unfortunate to say, are going to be scam artists, okay? This is going to breed a lot of scam artists because if you've not seen any of Jazz's latest videos, he's gone ahead and he's actually paid Fiverr artists to create some images for him. And what he found is that most of them are just going on to Dolly and they're typing in certain key terms that he's asking for and they're delivering it back to him. And that is definitely immoral. And you're gonna see a lot of AI artists trying to do this. And you're gonna see a lot of scam artists that are trying to do this too. And the big hole in this entire thing is definitely gonna be the fact that once you go ahead and you create something on AI art, that's not your original creation, my friend. I just gotta, I, I hope that that doesn't blow your mind, but that's the, definitely the honest truth that you need to hear about this. And you're definitely always going to be missing certain elements into there because AI art can only guess at what needs to be done. But yes, this is unfortunately going to spawn all too many scammers. Now on a positive note though, all of these people following are definitely gonna make it. Comic and manga artists, oh my gosh, they are going to definitely thrive because AI art is gonna help them better produce and direct 
things like backgrounds or certain items that they need to do. It's going to help them quickly generate ideas for what they can actually do. And I predict that as AI art eventually evolves the level where it can help them just quickly set up and produce an entire composition with the lighting and such it is going to help them so much. It's going to help them really figure out things like perspective or anatomy concerns. It's definitely going to help any artist in those fields really thrive and they're going to experience a lot of rich growth during that period if they can utilize AIR as a tool to bolster what they are already very proficient at. Are you a comic or manga artist? Let me know down below what you think about how AIR could help you. Now that also makes me think of these people too. People like myself that are illustrators, definitely gonna thrive in AI art because you're gonna be able to more quickly and efficiently produce compositions. You're gonna have really cool dynamic lighting scenes. You're gonna be able to use AI art as a tool to go ahead and get your ideas down, get some references for really obscure things. And if you've never gone down like an hour and a half long Google image search, trying to find a really obscure item or a place or a weapon or anything like that, you know what I'm talking about, but if you have it, that is very, very common, okay? Or trying to set up this really elaborate type of reference for you to draw from. That's not gonna be the case as often anymore because AIR is gonna be able to quickly generate something that you can then work off of. Illustrators are gonna have the capability to produce really dynamic artworks because they're gonna be able to get there a lot faster and that's gonna be amazing for us. Now on the topic of people being able to move faster, can't forget about this group of people. I've heard a lot of people say that a concept artist may potentially be going away because of AR, but I really heavily digress because of this. This is now going to allow human concept artists to quickly generate some ideas as far as what characters or vehicles or environments or just little props could look like. And it gives them a much better starting point. They're going to have to go through less iterations to get to something that a client is going to very easily like. It's also going to, in my opinion, allow the client to quickly use AR to generate some potential concepts for the concept artists to then build off of. The big time payoff for concept artists with AIR, in my opinion, is that they're going to be able to take on more projects and get more stuff done because it's going to allow them to do the front end of that work a lot quicker to get to a more satisfying end product and therefore satisfy more clients. So if you're thinking about concept art, does that sound exciting to you or does that still sound very fearful to you? And of course, all this wraps into this group of people. Real artists are not going to go anywhere. AI art is a fad and a trend that is eventually going to level out. It's going to become a tool and a mechanism for us real artists, people that are really honing a craft, really honing a skill. Because I just want to be honest with you, when I look at what AI art does and how it functions, I mean, it, you're more justifiable saying that the creation of your Elder Scrolls character is more of an art form than AI art is because you do not have direct control over what's exactly going to happen when you run an AI art generation. And that's just not fair to call yourself an AI artist for that reason, is that you're not actually in control of it. You can only suggest certain things to it. And because of that though, artists are going to know how they can build off of it and what skills they can introduce into it and how they can actually innovate that. And that is going to be a really powerful tool in order for us as artists to reach higher heights and do more things and quickly become more professional. Just imagine how amazing it's going to be if you're trying to create an original version of something like a knight, which people have seen done ad nauseum millions of times. You can create an original looking knight character with really cool and intricate armor. So if you don't have a really great design sense, AI art is going to pick up the bill for you on that and it's going to give you some great ideas. How awesome will that be? So no, my friends, don't worry. Real artists, we're not going anywhere. Now, if you want to learn more about the truth of AI art or if you want to watch me actually go through some AI art simulations and just put you at ease, artists, then go ahead and watch this video right here.